Hello, hello, hi guys, happy Monday. Today, I just want to remind you that we have uh, two more Saturdays, the 11th and the 18th before Christmas, which means you have two weekends to get your stuff, to get this from my pot of peace, to get this from my pot of peace, to get these from Beauty with Grace Salon and Spa. To get these and these and these. Organize all your lives. We, our final day for delivery is the 17th of December. Which means the last Saturday before Christmas. The Friday before that is our last delivery day. So that means you have two weeks. Two weeks to get it together. Two weeks to organize, put your orders in, and have them delivered to you. So that come the following week, you wouldn't be caught napping. You wouldn't be caught scampering, trying to figure out what to do, who to get this for, where to go and get this. And you wouldn't be outside in the middle, trying to organize gifts for family and friends. So, this could be you. This could be you. Let me show you good. You all see that? You, nice stuff. Nice plant for your pots. Nice Christmas day. This could be you drinking something. Mint. Chocolate tea. That could be you. This could be you. This could be a family member writing a thank you note in her journal. Because you would have gotten that far. I just say. So hope you all are well. Hope all is well with you and your family members. Hope all is well um business wise for our small small businesses entrepreneurs i hope all is well with you all <laughs>from the very first verse from verse 4 I started from verse 4 right so then the word of the Lord came to me saying this is Jeremiah speaking before I formed you in the womb I knew you before you were born I sanctified you I ordained you a prophet to the nations then I said our Lord God behold I cannot speak for I am a youth but the Lord said to me do not say I am a youth for you shall go to all to whom I send you and whatever I command you you shall speak do not be afraid of their faces for I am with you to deliver you says the Lord then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth and the Lord said to me behold I have put my words in your mouth see I have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. That's verse 10. I read verse 4 and 5 again. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, Behold, I formed you in the womb. I knew you before you were born. I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. Today I just want to talk about, um, what should I call this? I don't know what to call it, you know. But I just want to encourage us today to be mindful of the things that we say to ourselves, the things that um, people may have said that probably would have triggered an emotion or a feeling or some measure of um, not me. <laughs> Anybody that so and so but not me. Because something may have been said that would have um, destroyed your self-esteem in some way. Uh, unaware to you, eh? in your mind you good. Um, you good kind of way. But really and truly, that statement or whatever would have been said, whatever would have been done, however you would have been treated, triggered a level of self-doubt in your mind where you don't see yourself as what God sees you as. And so Jeremiah here says, says to the Lord, our Lord, 
Behold, what it is you telling me here? No, that can be me. I cannot speak, and I am a youth. After the Lord said, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nation. Jeremiah I said, Not me, pal. <laughs> Somebody else, but clearly, this is not, mm -mm, this is song and like me. This is song and like me. I, mm -mm, one are too young and two are casting. And so sometimes, um, based on our own um, thoughts concerning ourselves or concerning a particular, what a what, uh, particular gifting is, you just tell yourself, not me, not, not me and that. <laughs> Not me and that. And um, the thing is, Jeremiah, I'm going to say in here to Jeremiah, before, before, before anybody would have said anything, before you were thought, before you were even born, before you were even formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. I knew exactly who you were called to be. I knew exactly what I wanted you to do. I knew, I knew exactly what I had set out and planned and foreordained and predestined for you to do. And Jeremiah is telling the Lord, nah. <laughs> not me, sir. Not, mm -mm, not this one. And so I just really want to encourage us that despite, um, despite whatever may have been said to you, said about you, said concerning you, um, things you would have said to yourself, understand that God knows who you are and he knew you before you come out and, and were presented to the world, presented to your parents. Oh, it's a girl. Oh, it's a boy. God knew you and he knew everything pertaining to your life, everything that he had planned for ordained and predestined for you to do. What you need to do is accept, <laughs> accept whatever God has spoken over your life accept your giftings accept your, your 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 talent sometimes you have things that people see and that you just you just not seeing it you're not seeing that you're not seeing that and one person telling you two person telling you three person but you're just that not registering in your mind and your thought concerning you and so you refuse to accept the truth concerning yourself because you just not seeing that and so I want us, you know, the year is wrapping up and um, 2021 was a, was, we thought 2020 was a trip, 2021, say look man. <laughs> no, 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 they thought 2020 was it, but look, hey. And so a lot, a lot, a lot has happened. A lot has taken place. Um, for the past two years since this pandemic and I just you know I don't want us to roll into another year and just be lost be lost not knowing um what to do not knowing who you are not knowing um who God called you to be and and you going around another year not accomplishing and fulfilling God's purpose and intent for your life that just let me don't do that let me don't do that so that really and truly that's what I really want to encourage us like, let's not be Jeremiah let's not be um how Jeremiah started off with the nah <laughs> Jeremiah but our Lord God <laughs> I beg not me you know um and he just started explaining to God all of his deficiencies and what he saw, what, what he thought all of his shortcomings were. God is saying this about you and you are saying, but at this and at this and at this and at this. When God is saying, daughter, son, this is who um, I've called you to be. This is who I see you as. This is the giftings and operations that you, 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 you should function in and flourish in. This is who you are, and you say, nah, mm -mm. nah, Lord, nah, Lord. So I just want us to, as we wrap up, like I said, I know um, our our focus might be what is taking place over the next two weeks, Christmas coming, this, 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 that, that, and the other. Um, but I did just pass so fast, it's it not even funny. And 
I don't want us to leave 2021 not um not having a full idea in our minds not having a full understanding of who who God saw and sees us as as um let's not roll over into another year unsure about our our purpose unsure about our destiny unsure about our giftings and our callings we don't want to be um like a brother in church read um this verse a couple of the verses with the um parable with the talents where the person gave one five he gave the other one two and gave one to the one and how you know some made good use of their talent and invested it and got great returns and the other one who buried his own not doing nothing with it we don't want to do that we don't we don't want to be the one to bury bury what god gave us and um and expecting to be rewarded for it um we don't want to be called wicked we don't we don't want that to be said about us because we refuse to accept who God has has who God sees us at as and 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 fail into a function in the in the in the positions and the the in the giftings that God has has placed on the inside of us. It it might be scary. Um Sometimes the I, I sure here for Jeremiah, he probably just thought to himself, "What a prophet to who?" And you know, it might be scary. Like like the 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 call the call might just be like, oh, "Nah, Lord, <laughs> you know what people gonna say if I if I if I call myself this or if I, you know, it just like just different. Your mind, your mind, your mind might just go." Go, go, and you might just tell yourself, nah, mm -mm, I, I can't, I can't, um, I'm not, I can't accept that this is who you think I am. Um, and that was the case for Jeremiah, but we don't want to be, we don't want to be that. We want to be a good steward. We want to be uh, the, the guy that had five talents and double his five and made it ten. Uh, we want to be that guy. We want to be that guy. We want to be... We want to be useful in the kingdom of God and we want to be able to, to, to use all, all, everything that God gave and invested on the inside of us. We want to use all of it, all of it. And if he call you to be um, like Jeremiah, a prophet, a baker, um, a mother, a wife, what, all the things, all of the things, whatever all of the things are, um, whatever the title business owner, pastor, um, whatever all of the things are, function in all of it, exercise and exhaust all of it, all, 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 all of it, don't leave anything um, untouched, unused, um, because you're afraid of what people will say and who she thinks she is, and you know, you just... It's sometimes it's just it's just the thoughts of men sometimes that really hold us back. Like you know, it just sometimes we allow um, the things that people will say, the thoughts people have concerning us to cripple us. And like I said um, earlier, sometimes things would have been said. Um, you know, people hold this particular view, and 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 so you just you just tell yourself, no, nah, I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm not going there because um, so and so might say this and this person have that opinion about me and that person have that this opinion about me and you allow yourself to remain in a in a stunted um, lesser version of your true self because you're just afraid and intimidated by what people go say <laughs> and what this one go say and what that one go say and and leave it leave it just leave all of it and i just i just want to encourage us um today might feel like a ramble because i'm so talking to myself um but 
you know, just be all, 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 all um, that God has called you to be, to the fullest of your potential, the fullest, fullest of your present, your potential, exhaust all of it, exhaust all of it. So I just want to encourage us that even as this year wraps up, um, we have had a full, full year of devotionals, full year of interaction with each, with each other. I just really, really, really want to encourage us to, you know, over the next couple of weeks as the year winds down, to just sit with ourselves and, you know, just ask yourself, you know, what, what, what compartment of my life have I just, tucked away because I just don't want this one to say that or I don't want the next one to say that or I don't want you know I don't want to function in this position because somebody go say so and so or I don't see myself as you know so just let us just sit with our father and just ask him Lord reveal to me reveal to me all that I am all that you have created me to be, all that you have invested in me and help me to accept that this is who I am and, and just ask Holy Spirit, help my child, help your child, help your child to function in all, every area with grace, with grace and with the anointing and with the fervor and the, 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 the grace to function with the grace necessary in whatever area you have called me to, in whatever Giftings you have placed on the inside of me have been to function with grace. 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 If that's all you see. Um, but just, you know, I just want us to just take, you know, as this, this week um, rules ahead. Like I said, happy Monday. Um, let's just see how best we could use all 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 of, of of our full potential to use all of our full potential to to use every gift every talent and to function with grace to function effectively to function with grace holy spirit i pray that you remove doubt i pray that you remove fear i pray that you remove anxiety and uncertainty remove um Remove fear, remove, remove, remove fear, remove fear, remove fear, remove doubt, remove fear, remove doubt, remove fear, remove doubt from us and help us to function with grace, help us to, to walk, walk in, in all that you have called us to be, help us not to be like Jeremiah and to, to watch our, our shortcomings, but know God, Father, that you are well able to equip us with everything that we need to function and to operate in all that you have placed on the inside of us. So help us to function with all, all, everything. If we are mother to function to our full potential, business owner to function to our full potential, um, if the gift in our faith to function in it, whether it be the gift in our miracles, the work in our miracles, the work in our healing, um, whether it be to teach, to pastor, Help us to function with all of our giftings to our fullest potential. And we just ask you for the grace to function with grace in Jesus' name. So have a great week, guys. Um, like I said, um, just sit with your father and, and have a talk. Have a talk and just ask him to remove fear. Remove fear, remove doubt, remove anxiety. And to trust, to trust you, to trust you, Lord. To trust you that you are well able to equip us with the unction to function in whatever gifting or grace you, you, you would have seen on the inside of us. Before you formed us in, our, in, the, in the womb, you knew us. Before we were born, you sanctified us and you ordained us to be whatever. So whatever those things are, help us to function with the grace. Help us to function. Help us to function. So until next time, guys, have a great week. Don't forget.
my pot of peas beauty world creates and on and spa don't forget to check out those pages and to place your orders early the 17th of december is our last delivery day so be good stay safe wear masks social distance and sanitize